Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news for PlayStation 5 Pro owners and those looking forward to the future of console gaming. Uh, it looks like Sony is planning a significant upgrade to the PS5 Pro's graphics capabilities, bringing it closer to AMD FSR 4 technology. So let's dive in and see what this means. As many of you know, the PS5 Pro already utilizes its own proprietary upscaling technology called PSSR, or the dragged out, the longer term, sorry, is PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. This machine learning based implementation aims to deliver noticeable improvements over previous console upscaling methods. Uh, in fact, PSSR can upscale 720 images to 4K on the fly and even add extra particle effects. With initial impressions suggesting it offers good quality compared to something like FSR 3. Now, however, Sony isn't stopping there. According to recent reports and confirmed by PlayStation console architect Mark Cerny himself, I know just hearing that name makes me get a little sleepy too. <laughs> Sony is working closely with AMD to bring even better upscaling to the PS5 Pro. Uh, his goal is to integrate technology that closely resembles AMD's FSR4 upscaler starting in 2026. Now, this comes on the heels of AMD's confirmation of their ongoing collaboration with Sony on FSR4. For those unfamiliar, AMD's FSR4 is the company's first machine learning based upscaler, debuting with their new Radeon RX 9000 GPUs. Early analysis indicates that FSR4 delivers sin significantly better image quality compared to AMD's previous spatial and temporal upscaling techniques, which are currently used in many console games. Now, Mark Cerny told Eurogamer that Sony plans to integrate the neural network behind AMD's FSR4 into the PS5 Pro's PSSR technique. He stated that their, quote, target is to have something very similar to FSR4's upscaler available on the PS5 Pro for 2026 titles as the next evolution of PSSR. He even mentioned that this new implementation should take the same inputs and produce essentially the same outputs FS as FSR4. Now, this collaboration is part of a larger effort called Project Amethyst, a multi-year undertaking between Sony and AMD that actually began back in 2023. Cerny revealed that FSR4 was the first major result of this Amethyst collaboration with the neural network and training recipe for FSR4's upscaler being direct outcomes. He believes this new approach can even exceed the crispness of PSSR. Now, it's important to note that the PlayStation 5 Pro doesn't have an identical architecture to the Radeon RX 9000 series, while the PS5 Pro incorporates elements of the RX 9000's RDNA 4 architecture for its PSSR, there are differences. For instance, the PS5 Pro lacks support for sparsity, a key technique that helps RDNA 4 and NVIDIA's hardware optimize upscaling workloads. However, Cerny remains optimistic, believing that the PS5 Pro can still achieve strong performance without it. He even pointed out that the PS5 Pro's peak performance numbers compares well to the recently released AMD GPUs even without sparsity. This move towards an FSR 4 like technology is described by Cerny as an early step in AMD and Sony's collaboration to further refine machine learning based upscaling for future products, likely including the PlayStation 6. So, sorry, but to me, that sounds like we're getting a lot of trickery with uh, fake frames. That's just me, though. This benefits both companies. Sony gains from AMD's advancements in AI, while AMD benefits from Sony's expertise in game optimization. 
it's worth remembering that AMD has provided the architecture for both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And this trend is expected to continue with the PS6, which I swear to God, if it doesn't have a disk drive, I, I may just go PC and just pay for cheaper games on Steam. So sad that a Sony pony like me is actually thinking about this, but it doesn't sit right with me to pay full price for digital games. So <laughs> that little tangent, which could arrive in 2027 or 2028 and potentially feature a Zen 6 CPU and a GPU based on RDNA's successor. While this FSR 4 like implementation is targeted for 2026 titles, Sony is still encouraging developers to utilize the current PSSR on the PS5 Pro in the meantime. As the transition will take time, this suggests that we'll likely see PSSR in action on upcoming PS5 Pro games before the new upscaler arrives. Interestingly, the sources also briefly touch upon the Nintendo Switch 2 which is expected to utilize NVIDIA's Ampere architecture and potentially employ DLSS or a lighter version of it for upscaling. This highlights the growing trend of using machine learning for improving graphics performance on consoles. So what does all this mean for you, the PlayStation game? Well, it suggests that starting in 2026, you can expect even crisper and more detailed graphics on your PS5 Pro thanks to this closer integration with AMD's impressive FS4 technology. While it might not be a direct identical implementation, the goal is to achieve very similar results, promising a significant visual upgrade for future games. This ongoing collaboration between Sony and AMD is definitely something to keep an eye on, and not just for the PS5 Pro, but for the future of PlayStation gaming as a whole, which I said before, if the, PS, if the PS6 does not have a disk drive, I'm not buying it. But that's just me. So that's my thoughts on this. What are, what are your thoughts on this news? Please let us know down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.